Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tiana. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my natural fortified shampoo, which is going to give you extra growth to your hair. So some of the ingredients that's going to be found will be aloe vera juice, green tea, we're going to be using glycerin, we're going to use black soap, African black soap, unscented. Um, we're going to use cocoa betaine, these are our surfactants. And we're going to be using our oils like bergamot, carry sage, almond oil, and, and almond gold. So these are the ingredients I will be using and I will explain as I go. So you basically want to come up with a formulation. Of course it has to equal 100%. And you have your water phase which we're going to start with. And then we have our phase B which will be our surfactant. Okay, so we're going to start off with our soap. Of course, we have our black African soap. It's unscented. And so what the black African soap is going to do to the hair, it's going to help cleanse the scalp, remove dirt, dandruff. Um, so it's going to help allow hair growth. This soap actually helps with um, improving the blood circulation to the scalp. And it's going to give you all the nutrients that you need to grow your hair and it's definitely drying so you want to add your favorite oils and you know uh, humectant to you know balance it out. So guys I'm going to be cutting out my black um, African black soap and we're just going to take it and cut it up into little pieces break it up and just put it in the water which is like two cups of water so we'll let that soak for about an hour or two so that's basically what I'm doing right now. Okay, and what the black soap does for your hair is it cleanses the scalp and it allows for residue dirt and dandruff to be rinsed off of the hair. I'm going to be using our green tea. So this is going to be part of our water phase. So we're going to take a cup of water and we're going to pour it in the pot. And we're going to add our green tea bag in there and we're going to let that boil. So green tea, what is it going to do? It's going to help supply nutrients to your scalp and improve hair growth. So you can drink um, green tea as well and it actually helps because you're drinking it and it's removing the toxins and different things from your body. So it helps with preventing hair loss and it's actually going to help regrow it by stimulating the hair follicle. So it's excellent um, for boosting growth. We're gonna measure out a cup of aloe vera juice. Benefits of aloe vera juice is it helps heal the scalp, it helps promote growth, and it also acts as a conditioning agent. But it definitely is gonna aid in healing the scalp and promoting growth and also balancing the pH. So that's just gonna be a cup of that. And that's going to be a part of the water phase. Okay, guys, so we're going to measure out some of the Alma Gold hair oil. Uh, we're going to take like a tablespoon of that. So this is a half a tablespoon, but I'm going to use two. Of, two uh, fill, fill it up with two and just drop it in there. And what the Alma oil is going to do for the hair, um, it's def definitely going to help strengthen and condition the hair follicles, reduce dandruff, and prevent grain of the hair it has vitamin C and natural antioxidants. The next oil we'll be using is our almond oil, and we're gonna take just like half a tablespoon. Okay, and the almond oil, the almond oil is an emollient, okay, and it helps fill any gaps of your hair which helps with split ends and breakage. Um, so this, this, this almond oil is high levels of protein. Um, it has omega-9 fatty acids and vitamin E properties, which is gonna help improve the shine and strengthen the hair. We're gonna measure out our glycerin. So it's not gonna be quite a cup. So we're just going to maybe do like a half of a cup. I'm gonna add our glycerin and, and our um, netto extract into our green tea and we're going to stir that glycerin is a humectant that pulls in moisture from the air keeping the hair and scalp hydrated and healthy and this is why glycerin is one of the 
Best Choices. It is also used in most of the shampoos and conditioners. Nettle helps in combating hair loss and in hair regrowth. Nettle leaves are rich in sacilla and sulfur. It aids in restoring original hair color as well. Next, we're going to pour our aloe vera juice in there. Cup of distilled water. Our water phase is complete, so we'll just set that to the side. The next phase will be our surfactant phase. So we're going to just pour our black soap inside of the water. And just stir it. And as you can see, we have our form in our shampoo. Next thing we're going to be up, uh, using is our cocoa betaine. This is a surfactant. It's a mild anaphoric surfactant derived from coconut oil. It's going to be a cup and like pour that in there. So we have to remember that this is a surfactant that can be like mixed with other surfactants. So it shouldn't, it should just help. It acts as an uh, emulsifier as well. So I'm just going to stir it. And cocoa betaine is, is like, it's um very mild. And we're going to be using some xanthan gum. So I got this from making Cosmetics. It's just going to help thicken it a little bit. So you don't need but a little of that. Just... So when you add your xanthan gum, just make sure you're stirring it and uh, when you're um, adding it, just add it like a little bit of mouth at a time. And you have to use warm water, so I'm just stirring the ingredients. Then I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so we're going to be um, pouring our oil phase in there, the alma oil. Stir that in there. And our almond oil. Once everything cools down, we'll be we'll be adding our essential oils. And preserve it. Okay, so I'm going to be adding my essential oil bergamot. So we're going to add some drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 drops of that. I'm going to stir it. Now, what the bergamot oil will do is help facilitate with wound healing and reduce inflammation, aids in promoting hair growth and healthy scalp. It has antimicrobial properties. It's going to add shine. It's rich in antioxidants and antimicrobial properties. Helps shields against uh, damaging effects of oxidative stress. It's rich in fatty acids. And it will also tame frizz while conditioning hair and it actually helps um, eliminate the buildup of chemicals and silicones which allows the cuticle to breathe and receive moisture so it's definitely good for hydrating the hair, uh, hair and promoting healthy hair so with added that and our last oil we're going to be using is our carry sage this is also essential oil and this one you have to be very careful because it has to be diluted with a carrier oil. So I'm just going to add three drops. One, two, three. So the carry sage actually helps provide. It calms the scalp. 
and it helps promote hair growth, eliminating dandruff and buildup that clogs the hair follicles by reducing the sebum production. Also helps with hair strength and reduces shedding. It softens your hair, heals the scalp, and it's a natural antibacterial oil which helps combat bacteria and microbes that trigger scalp infections. And it is also contains conditioning properties which help reduce frizz and soften your locks while boosting hair growth. And for our preservative, we'll be using 100% um, of honey. So we'll just take like, a, I would say like at least a half a tablespoon. That's our preservative. It's a natural preservative, but it's actual humectic as well. So it's going to help moisturize the hair. And this will complete my tutorial on how I make a natural shampoo using all my uh, ingredients. So um, I will post the uh, ingredients below if you would like to order and purchase these ingredients that I included in this recipe. So lastly, we will pour our shampoo in a container, fill it all the way to the top, and we'll be using this for shampooing my hair. And I just showed you how to make natural hair shampoo. Uh, this is a fortified shampoo. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe. And don't, don't forget to thumbs up this video. And I'll see you in more videos.